today we have a pretty special set, Rivals of Ihalan. Uh, this set kind of makes you wonder what went through the heads of people that came up with it. Was it like a kind of meeting where the, the guy in charge was like, Jenkins, give me ideas for new sets. And Jenkins is like, how about maybe we use like Native American history and mythology, but make the Aztecs merfolk and the conquistadors vampires? And the guy's like, brilliant, but we still need something more. Bobby, what are we missing? And Bobby's like, dinosaurs? Perfect. I would really, really like to be in that meeting and learn how it went, how how they got the ideas. And it's actually one of two two part sets. So there's Ihalan and Rivals of Ihalan. Um, okay. So there's actually two sets like that with Ihalan being the first one, and this is the second one. I find it a little bit more attractive than the first set for some reason. I think it's because there's a lot of really cool cards inside the, the bundle. Uh, this is one of the bundles that has 10 boosters, a spin down die, life counter. And what seems to be a strategy guide, player's guide. Now, as for whether or not this is a really cool set to open, I think, yeah, because you get a lot of merfolk, a lot of vampires, a lot of other neat stuff. And I feel like this set is gonna age pretty well because of commander va validity. And there's a land back here. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it, oh, okay. I am sure this is the rivals. Um, marker so we are getting different lands than in Ihalan or not we get both sets here that's actually pretty nice so wow I really like the idea so this is Ihalan and this is rival of Ihalan we get both sets nice there's a lot of variety and a mixture of two sets in the land pack. The land pack, as you can see, is really big and we're not getting any falls and not in the land pack. So I guess some people would say this is, this is a nice, nice thing, but others would be like, uh, uh, where's my lands? I want my my shiny lands okay is this one of those yeah yeah similar to uh, i'm okay okay let's start unpacking the booster packs They really dislike 
here about the packs is they seem to have like a pull help or pull tab or whatever it's called like here but I really prefer to cut them open Alright, have 10 booster packs. We're gonna start with the Merfolk Man. Hopefully we get a lot of nice Merfolk. I don't think this set has a lot of crazy land action going on. But we'll see. Token, let's sort these here. Okay. Let's make separate piles for merfolks and vampires. Okay, we did get a nice Marvel career, and I guess this this is gonna be our border here for what's in the in the camera. Okay, second Marvel man. Wonder if we get another Marvel okay. vampire token as uh, rare. Vampire. We could actually make a dino stack, but eh. Enchantment. Uh, key Blood Sun. Do we need a separate stack? Let's make a stack here. see there's a ton of them here so uh, both fans of merfolk or of decks with vampires and even dinosaur fans are gonna really like it forsaken sanctuary is an uncommon land but it's not really one of the good good lands for double mana option dinosaur dinosaur and a dinosaur rare. Dinosaur token. Wayward's sword to our rare and 
strange double faced card Check thing we we do get double faced cards here hmm. all right so this is the vampire themed boosters although these aren't themed boosters they just have like a vampire on them let's see if we get a vampire this time as our rare is uh, this a merfolk yes is my camera in place am i getting the cards right i think i am okay so we have this guy and mastermind's acquisition so no vampire rare or mythic Treasure token, oh. There's also a lot of pirates, some lizards, I guess, as well. Evolving Wilds, oh yes, Evolving Wilds, classic card. We get a version from Rivals of Ihon. And at Itali, Itali. Uh, is this the one that's really worth a lot or is it the one that's not really worth much because of how many uh, promos were added to, to Walmart chaos packs or something like that? I'm not really sure. Okay, so fucking Minecraft? Are you serious? And on both sides, at least one side could have been used for like a token. Huh. All right, Empire Soldier. Hopefully, we won't be getting a lot of cards like this. No, because that's just silly. Okay, so Fall Orchard. Um, yes, that's our nice one. I have noticed that we haven't gotten a single uh, foil yet. Uh, okay, so it, here's our first one. Diaphleet Poison, a really nice card. I, I really like that I could just flash out uh, someone, something with uh, Death Touch. A really nice surprise. Oh, 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 I think we spoiled the nice flip card. Oh, nice and merful token. So, um, yeah, a lot of people already know what's here. What's awaiting us. So let's do it quick, quickly. Storm the vault. Flip card, Vault of Katlaka. Legendary enchantment. Elemental token. And let's see. No merfolk so far. <gasps> no merfolk. How could this be? Yeah, our merfolk is here. So, a weekend amalgam golem. A number of differently named lands. This could be really nice. And. Commander with all those crazy, crazy land draws strategies. 
but I, I don't think it's a really powerful card. City's Blessing, okay. A really helpful token. And our final booster pack. We haven't gotten any mythics so far. Will this be our mythic? Merfolk. Yes, we did get a mythic and what a mythic. One of the best ones in the set, if I'm correct. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See ya.